Hi, this is Dana Wild, and I'm at Caring for Cats on behalf of Caring for Cats No Kill Shelter. We are starting out in the green room to have you meet some of our awesome kitties that are here. First of all, here's Jaja. Now, little Jaja, she looks like she's shy, doesn't she, until you actually let her know you want to be want some pets, and then look at her come out. Look how much she loves to be pet, and she has the prettiest marble markings. What a sweet little girl. She's new to the shelter, but she sure is friendly, and she is a lap kitty extraordinaire. So if you like lap kitties, you will love Jaja, because once she sits down in your lap, she doesn't want to get up. And you can see how much she loves to be pet. She's not too fond of playing. If you try to play with her, she just wants to come over and crawl into your lap. <laughs> so that's Jaja. And in the green room, Jaja, show us your pretty face. Jaja. Yeah, look at those pretty eyes. <laughs> yes, that's right. In the green room with Jaja is her bunk mate, Allie. Allie came in separately from Jaja. She's also a big lover and she loves to play. Allie, say hello. I'm a little shaky because uh, as I'm trying to pet Allie, Jaja is pushing on my elbow that's holding the camera. As you can see, Allie is also super friendly. You want some pets? Allie? Hang on. Oh, sorry, Jaja. There we go. Allie. She also loves to be pet. She loves to be held. And she loves to play. Don't you? You love to play, don't you? Let me tell you a little bit about their stories. What I'll do is I'll go over to the cards. Those are little love bites. She's just the sweetest little thing. She's in a playful mood because we were just playing. And if you look over here, see what Jojo's doing? Just chilled out waiting for her turn to be bad, aren't you? Jaja's got some beautiful marble markings. Let me tell you a little bit more about their backgrounds, too. Oh, wow. Go look at the card. Jaja, you just hold and pose for the camera. Um, Allie, the kitty we were looking at earlier, was surrendered to the Animal Humane Society. Jaja also was surrendered. There she goes, she likes to find her little cubby, but the second it looks like you're gonna pet her, she wants to crawl right out, don't you, Jaja? You tell everybody how sweet you are? Oh, what a sweet girl. <laughs> oh yes, that's a girl. You wanna come and get one more pet before I go? There you go. Very nice. Say goodbye, Jaja. Allie? Meow. Yeah, you got a cute meow. You wanna show everybody your meow? You want, to, you want to say it again? Hi, Allie. Um, I'm going to go into the next room. This is the green room I'm caring for cats. I'm going into the orange room now because in here is Gideon. And this room's pretty bright because there's a lot of windows, so if I have too much backlight, I'm not sure. I can't really see too much if there's too much backlight, but this is Gideon. He is a really sweet, sweet boy, aren't you Gideon? He uh, had a little bit of a tiny cold, but he's completely feeling like his old self now. And he is very, very affectionate. I'm gonna see if I can get a better view without so much brightness. Oh, now he's too backlit, isn't he? Gideon, can I show everybody how friendly you are? You love having that window to look out of, don't you? Hi, show us your pretty face. He's got the prettiest eyes. Don't you? What a friendly boy. Yeah, look how gentle he is. I hope you can see that with it being backlit. He's so gentle. Aren't you? You're such a sweet, gentle boy. I, my uh, sister has had a series of black male cats and they've all been awesome over her lifetime she's had a few and 
They all have the same kind of disposition that Gideon's got, which is super chilled. I don't think the lighting is doing him justice, and so I'm going to move on to another room, but you can see he's super friendly. Even will let you pet his belly, won't you? Can you hear him purr? I don't know if it's coming through on the microphone, but his purr is going. Um, I'm going to move into the main room now. Gideon was a stray, by the way. And right here, let's see who we've got. Is that Templeton? There's Templeton. He is a big brown tabby and a super big lover boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Templeton, are you shy? <laughs> you can hear his meow. Yes, you love pets, don't you? You are a good boy. He's a really, really friendly, cuddly tabby. Templeton, you want to show everybody your sweet face? What a nice boy. What pretty green eyes you have. That was just a tiny little love nibble because he's playful and he's affectionate as you can see. He's a big cuddle boy and he's really when I say big boy too I mean he is. He's real solid and he's really big. I don't know if you can get the perspective. There you go. That's Templeton for you right there. Are you gonna pose for the camera Templeton? <laughs> yes, aren't you a good boy? Isn't he a sweetheart? Yeah, what a good boy. You can see if you want a kitty to cuddle that Templeton is a boy. Aren't you a good boy? You've just got gorgeous eyes, Templeton. After we give you the introductions, we'll go around and do some playing with these. <laughs> just such a character, isn't he? He is loaded with personality, as you can see. We're not open tonight, which tonight we are just uh, in here taking some pictures and videos of the kitties. Uh, and so the best day to come in is tomorrow. Oops, sorry, tomorrow's Thursday, so make that Friday. Friday night at 5 o'clock, we open up. I'm going to move on in here. Templeton, I know you could just play all day, couldn't you? You could pose for the camera all night long. Okay. <laughs> all right, moving right along. Here is a character I have been wanting to get on film for a while in Maine. His name is Ducati, and he's got a tiny little cold right now. But you can see his big paws, and he is just such a character. If he comes out of here, you'll see he's got the most interesting fur. He had to have a shave because he was matted, but he looks to me like just all boy. Look at that. Templeton, come on. See those big paws? Yeah, he's a good boy. Frenchie Ducati. He's just got a real rough and tumble look to him. Just like a character like you'd see in a cartoon. His hair's a little bit curly on the underside here. But you can see with his shave, he's got that big old puff of a tail. Ducati, you want to say hello to everybody? I know you got a little bit of a cold, but you're sure purring. You feel good? You're feeling much better, aren't you? <laughs> what a good boy. Do you have a pot caught on my shirt? See, isn't that cute? Give him in the basket. Isn't that great? What a good boy. Now we're going to go into blue. I'll come back out into Maine because we have a new kitty out here called Whiskers that I'd like you to meet too. 
but in blue, if it's not too bright, because again, it's pretty bright in here this time of day and this time of year. But we have Louie. Louie is a buff domestic long hair, and I'm telling you, Louie is another one of these boys who's just a super lover, aren't you? You just want to be pet all the time, don't you? What a good boy, Louie. We've got a lot of really affectionate kitties in here right now. Aren't you sweetheart? I'm going to show everybody your pretty eyes. For those of you that like uh, the buff domestic long hairs, Louie fits the bill. <laughs> Louie? Do you want to say hello to everybody? Well, I think he's just going to keep coming in. I'm not really going to be able to get all that great of a shot of him because he just wants more and more pets. Another little kisses, little kisser. What a good boy. This uh, lighting in here makes him look a little lighter than he really is. He's actually quite a buff character and his fur is super soft. Okay, oops. I think we've got somebody coming into my lap, so I'm going to have to stand up. I'll have you meet Jack. Jack is a tuxedo. Yeah, did you hear his meow? Want to say hi, Jack? Again, another real friendly boy. If any of you who are watching right now are volunteering in the shelter or come into the shelter and met any of these kitties, go ahead and give a shout out in the comments and say when you're usually in or when the last time you were in or if you've seen any kitty that's new to you because we've got a lot of new kitties on the floor right now give a shout out in the comments and let us know which ones are new which ones you know from before check yeah that's a cute meow you got i'm sorry the lighting's not better in here but it's so bright with the windows in this room hey what a nice boy I'm gonna go out and go meet, um, yeah. say goodbye to Jack. Yes, thanks Jack. Bye Louie. Louie, say goodbye. We'll go back out into Maine so you can meet Whiskers, who is a female. She looks a lot like Templeton, but she's smaller. Whiskers, you wanna come and say hi? There you go. There you go. Do you want to say hello to everybody? You can see she's also a tabby just like Templeton. She's a little newer here and so she's still kind of getting used to the place. If anybody's met Whiskers, go ahead and give Whiskers some love and say hello. Hey Whiskers! Look at those beautiful green eyes she has. She's a little bit more cautious, but she's really affectionate. I think she'll just take a little time to get used to her environment. We have one brand new kitty here, and when they're brand new on the floor, until they're, we know they're gonna be comfortable with everybody, we um, keep them in a kennel for a little while just so they can get used to the environment and everybody can get used to them. And this is Minerva, and she'll be out soon enough. She's super friendly though. Aren't you Minerva? Look at this, she can't wait to get some pets. Very gorgeous torty. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but she's a torty and uh, seems to be doing really, really well. Now I'm gonna go into the shy kitty room. The shy kitty room. This is gonna be a big contrast from where we've been before because these kitties, I don't like to pet them because I want to give them their space because they're very shy. This is Hazel. Hazel's a gray tabby. She's loaded with personality. We found Hazel had been left in a carrier out in the rain. And just amazing. She's got as nice of a disposition as she does considering someone did that to her and just left her there. 
She's been with us a while and she's getting more and more friendly the longer she's here. She's still not crazy about being pet, but she loves to play. Don't you, Hazel? You love it. And then Desi, Desi's been with us longest of anybody. He came to us as a kitten. And also he's just starting to be comfortable with being pet by a few of the volunteers who are, have been with us for a while. And he's been here a couple of years, over two years in fact. He hasn't really known anything different except the shelter. And I think if you had an opportunity to really get familiar with one person, you would uh, warm up. That's my personal opinion because uh, as I said, he's just now, after a couple of years, starting to let some of the volunteers who know him the best pet him. He loves to play, though. His favorite game is the laser red dot game, and he can play forever. Maybe the next time we do a live stream, we'll play with the red dot. The last time I was here, he actually sniffed my fingers and feet, which I felt like was a super honor, considering Desi, Desi Shoshai. Hopefully, somebody who's really got a lot of patience and wants to give these shy kitties a chance will step forward and give them more of a chance, give them a home where they can have some time to relax and get to know their environment and get to know their human friends. Desi is really good with other kitties. He loves other cats. That's it for our shy room. We had a big success recently. This is uh, actually where Aja used to be. Aja was with the shelter for a very long time, a couple of years as well, since she was little. And she's also a young kitty and she just got her forever home. Here comes Ducati. I guess Minerva doesn't want you to be too close, Ducati. <laughs> At least you know how to take a hand. Ducati, can I say hi? Now maybe you can get a good look at his coloring. He's got a really interesting coat. He's shaved right now, but it's a real mottled, multi-layered, multi-colored coat. All right, I'm gonna say one more hi to Templeton. Raven, you like Templeton, huh? Very right, Raven. Templeton totally looks like, our whiskers totally looks like Templeton's little sister. Right? Could you see Gideon very well? Oh, good, Peggy. I'm so glad that you like the live video. I think it's a good use, too. Stacy, they are so sweet. Yeah, what well, good, good babies. Oh, good. We won't, uh, this is our very first live video and so if you like it we need to hear from you let us know if you like the live stream we'll try to do it a couple of times a month so that you get a chance to see who our current kitties are and uh we'll get a routine so that i can tell you a little bit more about the kitties here's whiskers again ready to say goodbye very nice so let us know if you like this make sure and make a comment Make a comment in the comment section and we will make a point of doing more and more video. You can imagine how fun this will be when we have a bunch of kittens in here. But for now, this is uh, the social media team signing off at Caring for Cats in North St. Paul, Minnesota. We hope to see you soon. Say goodbye.